hello here I have created a simple PPT on uh, reverse stack using recursion I have a input parameter 10, 20, 30 and 14 stack and the output will be 40, 30, 20 and 10 in reverse order so I have created a two functions function A and function B to reverse the stack what I do is take all item from the stack one by one and pass that item to function B function B holds all item on the top of the stack and puts the item at bottom of the stack so this is the overall algorithm so I will explain each one by one so I have used a for reverse stack function b place item at bottom so what basically uh, purpose of b function place item at bottom is to push the item at bottom of the stack and keeping all item on the top i will show in upcoming slide so actual is initial stack is 10 20 30 and 40 10 is on the top after output this will be in reverse order 40 30 20 and 10 so first I have a simple input stack 10 20 30 and 40 uh, input stack item is passed to reverse stack function function a remove all item from the stack one by one until stack become empty and keep item in its call stack after that all items are taken one by one from the call stack of A first 40, 30, 20 and 10 is passed to function B so let's see how function B works first 40 is passed to function B so at that time our stack is empty in actual stack is empty then simple 40 is pushed into the stack now 30 come to function b as a function call then at that time initial stack is 40 so first of all 40 is popped from this stack and then 30 is placed at the bottom of the stack the bottom of the stack and after that 40 is taken from the call stack of B and pushed to the top of the stack so now our actual stack is like 40 30 now 40 comes from the function call to B so at that time I have a call stack 40 30 now what function B will do first take all item in its call stack one by one 40 then 30 so when a stack become empty B is placed onto the stack so now again reverse process 30 is taken into the stack 40 is taken into the stack so what the function b does is pushing this 20 at the bottom of a stack and keeping the item 40 30 on the top in the same order they were previously so in the same manner when 10 is placed under the bottom of a stack then 40, 30 and 20 are kept on the top of the stack so in this order our final stack looks like 30, 40, 30, 20 and 10 so this algorithm basically works uh, in uh, recursion so let's see the example via code snippet so first of all I have a, a stack 
in which I have pushed 40, 30, 20, 10. So 40 will be at the bottom of the stack as I have shown in the example. So what I have done is if there is a reverse stack which first of all pop all item in its call stack. So here is two call stack basically call stack of a reverse function A and call stack of place item at bottom. So from the call stack of reverse stack A items are popped and the each item like I have a 40, 30, 20 and 10. So items are popped one by one from this algorithm and passed to the place item at bottom. Now the item is passed into the place 8 at bottom function. So when item is passed here, so what this function does is hold all item in its call stack until stack become empty. When stack become empty, it just put the item to be placed at bottom of the stack. And uh, now all item are pushed on the this stack. So this maintains the order of the stack. So in this manner, our algorithm works and reverse stack works. So initially, I have uh, input. Uh, Ten, twenty, thirteen, forty, and now as output I have forty, thirty, and ten. Thank you, thank you, guys, for watching. Thanks.